In this video, we're going to tie Canon's Bunny Dunn. First thing we're going to do is start off the Tiemco 101 hook and some Vivas 12 or 14 knot Dunn colored thread. We're going to leave a nice long tag end of that thread hanging off the back of the fly. Then we're going to take two Dunn colored Mayfly tails and we're going to tie those in right on top of the shank of the hook. Then we're going to take those tails and just raise them up and split them with our thread. We're just going to take that thread and sneak it right in between those two tails. And you can secure it with a couple of wraps and trim out the tag end of that thread. Now you can tie this fly a few different ways. Uh, Jim tied the original I believe with just thread body which in my opinion works just perfect. Uh, you can also tie it with some goose biots if you want to make it a little fancier. But just the thread body honestly works just fine. And we just build a little bit of a taper with that thread. We're going to take it about three quarters of the way forward and we're going to stop right there for now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a rabbit's foot that's dyed done and we're going to trim a little chunk of material away from the foot here. Now it's a little mangled so you're just going to take it all, pinch it together and we're going to pull out some of the base fibers, the really short fluff at the bottom and we're going to pull out some of those guard hairs as well. We don't want too many of those really long guard hairs. We just want a few of them. Once we have our little clump here, I'm just going to take it and lay it on the table. Ideally what you're looking for is a little clump with just a few guard hairs and just a little fluff at the back as well. And we're going to lay it on our tying table here, being real careful with it. And we're going to trim an identical little clump, roughly from the same area of the foot if you can. And we're going to lay the other clump kind of opposite of each other. So we want some overlapping material. So ideally what you're going to end up with is a little clump that will look something like this. Let me get it situated here before I show you. You're going to end up with a clump with a few fibers facing one side and a few fibers facing out on the other. And you can pull out any of the extra long shaggy pieces. And this clump should be about three quarters of an inch long. And we're just going to take it and tie it evenly with equal amounts facing out on each side. And we're just going to figure eight this material onto our shank. And it'll be a little mangled and ugly at first, but once we draw it all together it'll come around. And now you can pull out any of the really long fibers that you don't want in your wing. Sometimes there's some extra coarse fibers in there. Then once you've done three or four sets of those figure eight wraps, you're going to take all that material and just draw it up together all at once. And you're just going to lay a wrap around the entire base of it, kind of drawing them all together. 
You're going to do this two or three times to make sure that it's nice and secure. And you'll end up with just a little tuft of wing, just like so. And it'll look still a little shaggy, but don't worry too much. Because the next step here, the dubbing, will help kind of rein it in here and keep it all together. So I'm going to use just some beaver dubbing, but you can also use some super fine dubbing. Both of those work great on this fly. The beaver dubbing just kind of holds a little bit of an air bubble at the base of the, the post, looking like a little mayfly is emerging. And it's about the right color too, it's kind of that grayish brown color. So I'm going to take that dubbing here, and I'm just going to lay down some wraps right in front and behind our, our wing here. Just kind of making a little ball imitating kind of a thorax on the fly. You want to try to cover up any of the base fibers from that snowshoe done. Or the rabbit, I should say. Sometimes you'll get just a few of those fibers facing or showing through, so you can just try to cover those up. much as you can. There we are. And you can whip finish. That's all there is to Cannon's Bunny Done. Great little mayfly pattern.